Today, we'll return to a topic, a topic I fail to understand, and I can understand most things, but the non-binary issue. Yes, I get there are people who aren't comfortable in their own skin, who may not feel entirely male or female or entirely masculine or feminine, whatever that may mean. Yet I think that's quite normal. Most human beings will go through something like that at some point in their lives. We all fluctuate. But that there are people who honestly believe that they are not male or female, or both or neither, when male and female are the only two options that human beings come in, that blows my mind. But given the huge rise in people identifying as non-binary, I'm wondering where does that come from? Well, I'm guessing there's social pressure, social media and social contagion. Also, if you're of a certain mindset, it's very fashionable to be non-binary. But I think, by far, the largest element is nothing more than narcissism. Destructive attention-seeking. Look at me, I'm so fucking special, society had to invent a new label. Yet I also think there may be an element of self-preservation or self-deception. Because, how can I put this? I've noticed that the majority of non-binary people are less than attractive, shall we say. So maybe it's easier to think I don't have a gender rather than no one actually wants to fuck me. So today we're going to meet Jamie, a non-binary individual, and I have two questions. First of all, why do 99% of them all look the same? The only variation being the colour of their hair and the amount of piercings in their face. And secondly, why do so many non-binary types work as teachers for young children? Um, I'm like very out at work. Um, I, at least at my teaching job, I'm very out. I wear my pronouns and stuff um, and I'm like, I like correct the kids and the, like the kids have gotten to like correcting each other. And it was like so awesome today. We were, I was in charge of our like active activity and one of the kids referred to me as a girl and one of my kids was like, Jamie doesn't have a gender. Jamie's not a girl. Oh my God. And like the kid was just like, what do you mean? And she was just like, Jamie doesn't have a gender. Jamie is not a girl. I like the way that like... Call me old fashioned, but I think a teacher should be an authority figure. I don't think teachers should be addressed by their pupils, by their first names. If it's not Sir or Miss, then for me it's the teacher's surname with the prefix Miss, Mrs or Mr. That's it, no Zimzer neo-pronoun bullshit. Now I'm not a parent, but if I was, and my offspring came home from school explaining we have a new teacher, their name is Jamie, now Jamie's an androgynous name, so I would ask, is Jamie a woman or a man? If my child replied, they don't have a gender, my child would very quickly go to a different fucking school. Jamie doesn't have a gender, but she does have an agenda. She's paid to educate, but has chosen to indoctrinate. And I'm using she, her pronouns, because I can't be bothered to do the mental gymnastics required for the non-binary crowd. It makes sense, though, that she uses they, them because I wouldn't be surprised if she has more than one voice in her head. We saw how happy Jamie is that her kids, as she puts it, and I despise when teachers do that, they're not your children, they are children you are paid to educate, when those children are using her preferred pronouns. I'm guessing they're doing so because they're more mature than she is. And they're also correcting each other. What we see here is it's not about the children, it's all about Jamie. I don't think that Jamie is a bad person, but I bet her colleagues find her absolutely insufferable, coming in with her pronoun pins on as if anyone cares about them, constantly correcting everyone on using the correct pronouns, even though she is incorrect. Using they, them, she's not fucking plural. And I asked earlier, why is it so many non-binary types go into teaching? Well, there are many fine people in the teaching profession. There's also that old adage, those who can do, those who can't teach. So there are many people who they go through the educational system and then go out into the real world where all the adults live and realise they can't hack it. I mean, if Jamie worked on a production line in a factory, 
going around with they them pronouns. She would be laughed off the shop floor in minutes. Plus, teaching young children means she has a captive audience who don't yet have the cognitive capacity to question her delusion. It's not a girl. I like the way that like, the way that has me is so emotional. <laughs> like, she like even like, like said the pronouns to him. Oh my God. She was like, Jamie's they. <laughs> She's eight. <laughs> my 52 year old parents still fucking call me she after being out for three years. <laughs> I like just told the like really like started correcting the kids back in like September <laughs> like that was like so awesome that was just like so awesome like I've like never felt more love than like when I am with my kids <laughs> like they like correct each other are you kidding me clearly Jamie's very worked up at having an eight-year-old use her preferred pronouns, an eight-year-old, of course, who doesn't know any better. And an odd thing when it comes to gender ideology, whether it be non-binary, trans, or whatever, is the hardliners, they need constant validation. They need external sources to tell them what they are. And if you need that, you need other people to tell you what you are. I don't think you really believe it yourself. And of course, they get this either from like-minded individuals who never leave their echo chambers, or as Jamie's doing, young impressionable children and the narcissism she's showing because i guarantee she knows full well she's indoctrinating those children messing them up for the future but it doesn't matter as long as she's constantly in the limelight and that she's never felt so loved by eight-year-olds using a word which she has bombarded them with i'm sorry to say it but those children don't really love her they will be far more concerned about cartoons and biscuits. And in a few years' time, when those kids are at high school, they'll be looking back at their time with that teacher, saying, do you remember Jamie? That mad woman who insisted she didn't have a gender and cried about fucking everything. Of course, the crux of the matter is that she feels more accepted by eight-year-old children than by her 52-year-old parents, who she came out to three years ago. What does coming out as non-binary even mean? It's not like coming out as gay, something that actually matters. Saying, my sexuality does not align with the majority of society. Particularly given that gay people had to fight for decades to get equality. Whereas coming out as non-binary, that just means she's going to be really irritating when it comes to using language, particularly pronouns, have no fashion sense and put so much metal in her face, she'll never walk through an airport again. Jamie, it's not that your parents don't love you. It's not that they're confused by your life choices. It's just they are very, very, very fucking disappointed with you. Maybe they wanted grandchildren, but now, as I mentioned earlier, you've made yourself one of the unfuckable. But why does any of this matter? Well, I think in the Western world, we are heading for a massive mental health crisis. And if someone says they're non-binary, Affirming that, I don't think really helps them. It just reinforces the delusion. It's a bit like, you wouldn't treat a heroin addict by saying, here you go, mate, have all the smack you want. That's the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe. And as ever, thanks for watching. And most things, but I can't get my head around. Can't get my head around. That was rather common. A non-binary thing. Sim oh, someone's calling me. You can fuck off. Your social contagion and good old fashioned narcissism. Now, I don't know, fucking, how's it go? Fuck oh, it. oh. It is so cold today. If I feel two lumps in my throat, it's probably my bollocks. You're using grammar, you'll have no fashion sense, the birds have joined in, and put half a hundred weight of metal into your face. It's not that your parents don't love you, it's not that they don't. It's not that your parents don't love I'll record that bit standing still. So why does it matter? Well, I'll turn the fucking wind off.